Alright guys, it's that time of the night again. It's time for a feed. You gotta prepare the uh, crew a feed, so what do you do? Well, I sift around in the freezer over there and I found myself some pieces of Atlantic salmon. So I've decided that I'm gonna cook up baked Atlantic salmon on a bed of sweet potato. It sounds awesome, it's very easy. So let's get cracking. So first of all, I need to make up my little paste. So I'm gonna chop up a few nice pieces of garlic. Now this is gonna go in my basil and uh, what have I got? Pistachio, basil and pistachio paste. Now I'm gonna chuck that straight into my bowl here. I'll get this slightly seared. Hot pan so you can make it crispy. Now you don't wanna cook it through. Okay, give it a nice crispy outer layer. All right, well that's crisping away. I'm gonna some basil here. Now I did have some fresh basil, but it died. So I've got some basil in a tube. So I'm gonna stick in that whole tube like that because I have got five pieces to do. And then I'm gonna get a chunk of this parsley. Just finely chop it like that. Put that bit over there. Yep, that'll be enough. Get rid of that. All right, got my uh, pistachios. Now I'm gonna crunch them up. Now I wanna crunch them up as much as I can. Give me an eye on my salmon here. It's a bit hard to crush the old nuts. <laughs> like it's dinting my can. All right, that's working really well. Now, my salmon's nearly ready, so what I might do, I'm gonna get my camp oven out. What I've done here is I've actually got, if you have a look, I've got a square tray and I've crushed it in and put it on top, but it's sitting on top of my trivet in there. That's that thing there. Because again, I don't want it to burn too much on the bottom. That's what the trivet's for. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on that so it doesn't stick. Now I get these purple onion rings and I'm gonna lay them on the bottom. All right, now I grab my pieces of salmon. They're all ready to go. And then I'm gonna put this mixture, which I'm still halfway through, on top. So first of all, we're gonna get some of those nuts. You can see the crush bits on the bottom there. They're the ones I want. <laughs> all right, that sort of half works, okay? Uh, and then I want Drizzle of olive oil, and here we go. Oh, look at that. And then I just mix that up. Now that's nice. There's garlic in there, there's parsley in there, there's basil, and there's pistachios. Oh, look, if you really want to get clever, you could drizzle of lemon. There we go. Oh, look at that. That looks looking pretty cool, isn't it? All right, now that I've got that, I'm gonna lay this on my salmon. So that's it, just get a bit of it. Lay it on top. Look at that. Slider in there, beautifully. I'm going to stick some slices of lime on top. And you can leave a little bit so that you can, when you pull it out and it's cooked, you can uh, use that as well. This is pretty cool. People are gonna think you just went and picked it up at the friggin' gourmet shop, or the gourmet restaurant. All right, have a look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Now some great flavors are gonna come out of that sucker when it starts cooking, or baking as we say. So we're gonna get some coals on that, so we'll take it over near the fire. In the meantime, I'm gonna boil up some uh, potatoes. I've got Simon onto that job. He's gonna boil up. Yo, Simon, you wanna start those potatoes up, please, mate? Yep, so he's gonna start that up and um, mash it all up. And then as soon as this is cooked, which won't take long, about 20, 30 minutes, you're gonna lay it on a bed of sweet potato. I'll tell you what, mate, you'll be like the talk of the camp. Don't wanna get too uh, ahead of myself here. I gotta make sure that you know it works and stuff like that. Otherwise you'll be like, who stuffed up the dinner? So yeah, yeah, you gotta make sure we get it right first. Alrighty, 
That's it, about half a, and uh, they'll be good to go. Alrighty, the salmon is cooked. Let's have a look in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that looks absolutely awesome. So it's ready to go. Here you going over here, mate, all organized? Yeah, we're getting there. Smells good. Geez, it looks good. What do you got, mate? Well, I got this awesome mashed potato that Simon cooked up. Good job. Look at this and salmon. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? You ever had salmon like that? No. <laughs> All right, mate, I'll get this sucker out here. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Looking great. All right, so we put a bed of this down, flatten it down a bit like that. Restaurant quality. And I'll grab a piece out, and you have a look at this sucker here. That could better in there than I thought it would. Is it? Look at that. All right, and then what you do yeah, is you get a little bit of these onions, you stuff them and the you lay the onions to the side like that. Look at that. Like that. Hey, that's first class, isn't it? He's getting fancy in his old age. Yeah. And there we go, guys. Look at that. Let's so do you the can taste see. Test. Oh, he's going to test yeah, it first. He's going to believe me. No, we're going to do the taste test. That's how we roll. <laughs> oh, look, it's cooked in the middle, too. Cooked right through. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he was expecting it not to be. Just checking. Here you go, Jesse. There you go, mate. Nice work, bud. How is it? Oh, choice. Absolutely choice. choice. Well, there you go. That's dinner. You should try that sometime. They might think you're the star of the camp. Problem, me, guys. problem is you'll get the job of cooking every night. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do get that habit. I hope you like that recipe, because there's many more in my new bush cookbook about that much.